Hey, what's up guys? It's King Knock here. I'm coming out to you with a brand new video. In this video, it's not really about the gameplay. It's just about, like, as you see the title, the state of this game. Or just COD in general. So, first, I'm, it's going to be like three or four points in this video. But the first point is about this game. So, the way the leveling system works in this game is really weird. So, when they had this game first come out, they had 100 levels, right? Or when the game, before season one came out, the season one comes out, you bring four more prestiges, a hundred or a thousand levels, and they're going to do that for six straight seasons, the same thing over and over until twenty-seven the prestiges. They shouldn't do that. I understand what they're doing; it's for a grind of a game, right? Because they don't want the game to die pretty quick. With like the fact, like people get level one thousand really quick without that. Like people are already level one thousand, so if they had level one thousand now, excuse me, they would. He would not be playing it as long, but I still think it's gonna it's gonna not gonna last that long. But yeah, it's like the way the leveling should work, in my opinion. I don't would, people would probably get it already, and it's not gonna be hard. But it would wouldn't last. People would already be level one thousand or one thousand by this time. But they should have it where there's twenty seven procedures. So you have all twenty seven procedures come out at once, and then um, you have like five thousand levels. So that's until like the summertime. So you'll have like a couple, like decent amount of people get to level to twenty seven prestiges, twenty or five thousand levels. That's it's okay. I mean, there's some grinders that might do it. Or hey, you know, you don't have to go up to you don't have to like raise the level cap during the summer. Five thousand might be good for the whole year because there's no point of every season people just doing the same grind over and over. That sort of just gets stale. But that that's it for the levels. Okay, I'm not gonna get too far into that. <coughs> Excuse me, but for the next one, it has to be the lack of content. I could have brought that in with the leveling system, but the thing is, okay. So when this game comes out, eight maps, three of them are ground war maps, just smaller. They don't have Nuketown on launch, which is the first time I think in all the Black Ops history where they haven't had Nuketown on launch, which they could have had it on launch, not hard. So they have Nuketown out in the files, doesn't release it. <coughs> fucking Jesus. Um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, they have the Nuketown come out, and it's been a playlist for a month straight. So they only had one map before, like, a week and a half into the game. And then what? They have Raid come out with Pine. I've, I've never played Pine, personally. I've heard bad things about that. And they have Raid. Like, don't get me wrong. I like Raid. It's good. It doesn't play as good as it used to, like a BO2. But the thing is, like, you have all these other maps leaked in the files, and they're bringing Express back in, what, three weeks? Like, why not release it now? You know, the game is getting so stale with the same map, because all I do, I play Nuketown. Because that's what everybody plays. That's all featured playlist is, is Nuketown. So that's why I play it. Like, there's no point in playing anything else. So, like, I don't get it. And then you have, like, yeah, you have the Nuketown playlist. You have all these garbage game modes. Like, you, they were more focused. It's the same thing. What do they focus on? I uh, actually I don't even know. It's it's just the thing with with fire team. That ma game mode is so bad. Like it's not even a good game mode to play. No one plays it, and they have it as a featured playlist. And they add maps to that. Like no one wants it. I understand. I understand. It's sort of like they're releasing these fire team maps, which is going to be the the new Warzone map. So like sort of how Ground War was in in Modern Warfare. But the thing is like no one wants these fire team maps because no one plays it. Like. I'd rather them release, you know, they're not releasing the new ground war map, but, but the thing is, like, I reverse boost. Like, it's it's not it's not fucking difficult to realize I do. But, the thing is, like, when they have a 12v12 future playlist, I like playing that because, you know, it's more fun, more chaotic. I mean, I don't drop as many kills as I do on Nuketown because it's a smaller map. But the thing is, like, I try and play that, it sweats. Like, I can still do good, it's just boring. Because everybody uses Air Patrol. But they haven't released, like, any, like, it's just the same game modes over and over again. Like, they just haven't released anything good with it. <clears throat> but, like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why they don't release, like, 12v12 playlists. Like, we release more maps. They have so many maps in the files. Like, I've heard they have Firing Range, Summit, Slums, um, Standoff, Carry. I don't know if all these maps are real in the, the files. That's all I've heard and seen. I don't know if they're, re they're reliable sources. But they have Express coming back. Like, that's, a, that's fine. Like, yeah, good map. But they should release it now. I understand that it's doing a mid-season update, so they're adding more stuff. But, like, why 
why wait for the content when there's two weeks left in the season when that comes out? Just release it. Like, why are they hiding the content? Like, if it's already done, just release it. Like, why make us wait for it? And then they had these new guns in the game. Like, what, they're just going to wait? It's like the Cold War all over again. Like, where they wait for the guns. You Instead of releasing it all as a complete game, <laughs> they just fucking don't release it together. It just doesn't make sense. Like, Call of Duty's in such a bad state of, like, th- how they're they're doing the battle pass system and like all this other stuff they're doing like it's it's not it's not gonna last like they have to understand like people want to play the game i've seen things where modern warfare had more sales in the first three days than cold was had since it's been released like people don't understand like cold war it's supposed to be, it's a good game don't get me wrong it's fun like i'm when i reverse boost it's fun i mean i could I can also have fun maybe not reverse boosting, but it's I don't want to sweat all the time. That's the problem. Like, SBMM or whatever, Scooby Smash Breaking, needs to go. That's something terrible in this game. <clears throat> but it's like, the game is so incomplete. Like, yeah, it'll be done in a couple months. Like, they're, everything in general will be done. It's the fact that, like, maybe they shouldn't have released the game when they did. If the game's not complete. And then I'm going to go with my third point. It's going to be like a third and fourth point. It's like with Scooby's match me. Like, yeah. Excuse me. It's not fun having the sweat all game. Like, COD's supposed to be casual. Like, they have a league play coming out now in in like two or three weeks. Like, why have SVMM or skill-based or skill matchmaking in casual and then have a league play playlist? Like, are they going to take out skill-based matchmaking? Are they going to keep it in? Like, you have to, like... You can't just have both of them being competitive game modes. They should never have skill-based matchmaking in games. It ruins games. It ruined Modern Warfare most of the time. Everybody reverse boosting that game. Fortnite has skill-based matchmaking. It ruined Fortnite. <laughs> and then they took it out in casual and all that stuff in Fortnite. And they added bots. Like, that's so stupid. Like, what? what's the point of that? And then another thing is, like, I know Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is completed already been leaked in the files and all that stuff like where their multiplayer is done they released the campaign but yet they didn't release the game because they didn't want to split the fan base which don't, hey don't get me wrong okay you don't want to split the fan base that's fine you know but you have to release that eventually it's already completed like you know they're at that point where it might get released here soon with how cold war is if cold war starts dying down with like the sales and all that stuff and like the call of duty just in general starts like slowing down they might release it to bring like more people back which they should don't get like I want a Modern Warfare 2 remaster. I'd rather play that than Cold War, but that's because I like the nostalgic feeling of playing Modern Warfare 2 again. But the thing is, like, they didn't want to divide the fan base with Modern Warfare 2 remaster, like I said. But yet they released Warzone, and it was free to play. Warzone's free to play, so you know people don't go and spend the sixty dollars American, eighty dollars Canadian to buy COD. They'll pref- they prefer to buy the free to get the free game. But that splits the fan base. So, like, all these bigger YouTubers and all this stuff, like, they, they switched on from COD to Warzone. So, when they switched to Warzone, a lot of other people watched them, and they switched to Warzone. Hey, they, oh, their favorite content creator is playing Warzone. But it's like, you don't want to split the fan base, but yet they do split the fan base by adding Warzone. Like, Warzone's okay and all. I mean, it's... <laughs> I don't like the Modern Warfare movement, nor the graphics of Modern Warfare, compared to Cold War. But it's like, you can't go back and forth saying, hey, I don't want to like release this game because you know I don't want to split the fan base. Then proceed to split the fan base. Sort of stupid. On their part. But, um... Plus, Warzone's so broken. Like, the game... They don't know what they're doing. With, like, <laughs> with patches and all that stuff, too, with the game. Like, there's so many broken things that have been in the game for a while. Like, the DMR was broken. The M16's still broken. The... The snipers have no flinch, but they should have flinch. And then they have, like, AUG is broken. Like, Storm is broken. Everything's broken. Like, everything in the game is broken. It's annoying. But uh, this gameplay is coming to an end here pretty soon. But, yeah, like, I don't know if many people are going to watch this part. But give your opinion on the game. How you feel about it. Like, how is, is it going to last? Do you think it'll last all six seasons? My opinion, it's not. I give it till summertime. It'll be dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I went to 128 and 5, I'm pretty sure, with like 
almost three nukes. But have a good day. Peace.